basically it sends out ultrasonic signals gets the response and depending on finds the you know time difference between the transmission and the reception and then uh, creates vibrations on this particular uh, handle essentially to correspond to the distance of the obstacle. So, the <coughs> device, so for example, it has this uh, 45 degrees cone. So, so, this is for example, not a device which can actually judge this. So, this is still to be done, when too close to this. So, this I cannot actually find out from this. So, that is why the cane is actually important to actually find out that I need to, there is a step here. Okay. So, now there is no vibrations uh, because the obstacle is, so now I put it in a mode which is smaller mode is 1.8 meters. If I put it in a 3 meter mode, it will, uh, the vibrations have started because it, but if it, I am in a 1.8 meter mode these vibrations are not existing at this point in time because for indoor use we have a smaller range. So, now so this is actually what it is covering and already the uh, vibrations have started. So, I can feel the vibrations and the reason that the sound is getting dampened is when you actually move it on the floor the sound actually will get dampened okay. and so using the vibrations I can actually avoid it and the uh, you know. So, still you are getting a gap if I do not get the gap then you know it will be. Uh, so, depending on the way I hold it, so if I hold it like this now it is pointing down. So, I need to adjust it and if I hold it like this then it is sort of going up. So, I need to adjust it. So, the this adjustment is based on uh, your grip. Okay, so the grip could be from straight to this too, depending on how I, how, you, how you hold it. Okay, so that's the grip, and then you can actually avoid it. You can use it to find gaps, so that is possible. So I can, you know, uh, show you because this is. You can hit, and the sound goes off. Only the vibration remains if, because I am when I am touching it so that you know you will see that that is a part which gets dampened and I can you know. So, if I come closer to this I can get it and so typically this type of obstacles which are have a ground you can actually also touch it and you can uh, find it otherwise you can you know. So, now, now the vibration has stopped so I know that there is a gap. So, this also helps me to go towards the corridor and you know. And the fact that when I am pointing and when I am pointing here, there is a difference in vibration and that also shows me that I have a uh, this one obstacle on to my left. So, normally the way because of course, now I am very close to the walls. So, normally the visually impaired people tend to walk very close to the wall and that is why I was as I was telling you this air conditioner room cooler becomes a challenge. And the reason is that the walls actually gives them a very good idea of the extent of the building, emergence of doors and when you want to go in. So, that is a normally that is the way that they walk, but then if you have such obstacles then that is not a good idea. So, now you can see that there is a vibration coming, but then they basically understand that I have a wall on my side and this is. So, if I want to remove the vibration I can point it out in the direction in which. So, the you know. So, and in their case they will find the difference between when they are closer to this in their sc uh, scanning closer to the wall and away from the wall. So, that difference actually comes. So, that is how the device works. So, the way what we have seen is the users uh, so, there is a stage around it takes a week for it to become somewhat intrinsic and in around somebody was using it for 3 to 4 weeks we now now users who just won't go out without it they get. So, it is you know exactly like driving okay. initially when you want to change the gears and so on you need to focus on it, but once you know so you can't do the gear change is very looks very complicated you know you have to also because you are doing multiple things 
you're looking at the speed, you're looking, changing the gear, and so many coordination has to be done. But somebody who has driven it for some time, then these things are become so innate. So vibration as an input, even the visually impaired do not have typical devices where vibration is used as an input. Okay, so conveys any information. Okay, now only in the silent mode we use vibrations to get a call or so one zero state that we use using the mobile. But apart from that the vibrations are not used. So this is the reason that the the you know the, the cognition part of it that the brain actually getting another sensory input and integrating it with the rest of the information they are getting from the cave is something takes some time. Initially that it does uh, require some learning. But once they get and it becomes very, very intrinsic. 